it didn't go live thing now All you right. can I hit start it. streaming yep so that's it we immediately i see five six now it's not fully connected yet but i see that it's coming in instantly as soon as you boom, said boom. i hit the button yeah and so it's got that's... the old the old and once we do the... that it should be live we shouldn't have to worry about it should be live we shouldn't have... i'm gonna leave that studio i'm gonna actually change my account back to myself pop out chat oh lord i might actually have to watch that it's a uh saturday night live debate for uh you know for for the presidency of course you know um um i lost his name but the guy's been playing trump all along he's playing trump but jim carrey's playing biden i <laughs> might have to look at that oh no all right yep Giants has team up which now it has the right live signal next to it oh Giants yeah. has team up which Ooh. now it has the right it automatically does not mute me all right now it's not muted uh, uh, um man all right let me go change the title well now that we've learned how to use youtube we probably won't be doing it anymore <laughs> hopefully hello all right let's edit this this is number 219 right yes week of all right uh can i just cancel the shum shum now the shum now i'm gonna do a shum now just so you know a shum now save all right so, i just say this so ho you might have to refresh by changing it just to pokemon go podcast episode 219 week of october 8th okay that's fine all right so the question is who signed us up for hbo on amazon prime was it my in-laws who are technologically challenged or was it my kids that is the question or just mentally have. challenged who are well kids my guess is it was probably my kids now i will say joe there's some good dc stuff on there it might not be up your alley though yeah it's okay we don't need to be paying for anything else monthly Mr. We've got because I we've I, got we got plenty of streaming services already that we pay. For. Yeah, it's not enough uh, for me to to add another bill, but it is I enjoyed enough that I'm using you know my brother-in-law's login or whatever. Yes, yeah, so we've got we've got uh, Netflix and Hulu and Amazon Prime. And Disney Plus. So, we've got... Tuesday, we get in our filament. Oh, nice. Which ones did you end up ordering? Uh, red, white, and blue shiny. Okay. And uh, the glow in the dark. Okay, okay. Because I know we had added several to the cart that we had discussed, but I didn't know which ones you had actually pulled the trigger on. Oh, crap. I need to actually pull the trigger and get that money out of the account. I forgot. Speaking of, I think we got um, some P Patreon money since the last time. Yeah, I did get the bill. Uh, the uh, bill, not the bill. The email says, "Hey, you got paid out." Well, there are, th are supposedly three people watching, and I think two of them are us. So that <laughs> that means there's one person watching. Yeah. Unless, well, you're logged in as a separate thing because I'm logged in as myself. Yeah. Yeah. So. Oh man, Patreon did not pay us right. Hello, that Eddie. Hurts. I saw that. It I did something wrong. A fair bit lower than usual. You probably forgot to monetize one of the posts or something. I'm sure. I'm sure. That's how it goes. 
Mm. That is how it goes. But it is 8.02, so why don't we go ahead and get why don't this we? party started. Uh, where's my recording? Crap. Because the recording's not up yet, even though I thought it was. Because it's YouTube, man. Everything takes longer on YouTube. Because we can't get on, 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 on our stuff. Hello, Eddie, son of rock. How are you, man? Mute. Mute. Yeah. Sorry, everybody. It's just been a week. All right, we're recording. I saw your your chickety clackety's doing it thing too, Joe. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, yeah, let's do this. Oh, welcome to Pokemon Go podcast, where you know we'll never catch them all. And apparently, we'll never catch a break. But that's okay. I'd rather I got a podcasting Charles McFall over there laughing at me. Is embrace the underscore himself, Mr. Joseph Ard. Hello, hello, hello. How are you doing tonight? You tired? Uh, I know it. I know you're tired. Yo, yeah, there's that. There's that, man. Um, so, yesterday, for everybody's curious, uh, this week and next week, I'm back at the military base up in Marietta uh, teaching firefighters. And it's long days anyway, but we started doing this trivia thing to teach them. And out of everybody, who do you imagine is the best trivia host? Yeah, it's me. So for seven and a half hours, I was basically on stage shucking and jiving and trivia. And it was great, great education. They were engaged. We were engaged because it's all uh, continuing education stuff. Made it, it was a really great way to do it, but it was exhausting. And then today we did some more lectures and whatnot. And, you know, here's a quick update on the tech. We're on YouTube one more time. Hopefully just one more time. Yeah, because Joe and I actually decided last week, screw it. We're just going to start fresh. We're going to lose everything we had on, on Twitch. We'll start a new Twitch account. We'll promote it. We'll start from scratch. And being as busy as we both have been did not happen. And when I went to emailing, uh, texting actually yesterday or the day before, I was like, hey, man, I just realized I haven't had time to set it up. Go ahead and knock yourself out. But let me check the emails real quick. Guess what? They unlocked our account. Woo! And then we have supposedly. to reset the password. <laughs> supposedly, yeah, supposedly. And then it's like, well, you got to reset your password, and it's not cooperating at all. Yeah, we reset the password. We've requested uh, <sighs> emails a couple of times, and the emails just aren't coming through. They're not. They're not showing yeah. up anywhere. Inbox, yeah. junk box, anywhere. Yeah. So it's it's. It's a thing. So Eddie, Eddie made it. He found us on YouTube. I think other, some others might make it. I didn't put out a big post tonight because I'm just depressed. It's okay. Uh, but you know, one step further, one step closer. We might be back on Twitch. Who knows? Actually, we will be some at some point. Uh, but we were, eh. we're we're putting. Mm, I can't even come up with a good Pokemon Rock type to even make a joke about here. That's how frustrated I am, Joe. But how are you, man? How's your experience been? <laughs> oh, man. All right. So uh, this past week, uh, we actually, you know, we were talking before the show uh, about whether or not we did a raid together. We actually did do a raid together. We did. Yeah, I wasn't sure. We did. I did ask you, a, like, hey, did we raid? I can't remember. We did a Gothita raid together. Yes, we did. That was my first Gothita. Yeah. First. That's my first, first Gathita. So Firth is actually oh. a small little town in Idaho. It's also a really cool DJ. Where my mom is from. <laughs> really? That, that's yes. unusual. Uh, uh, yeah. I do have a great experience then. All right. <laughs> because, because now you know about Firth, Idaho, you have a great experience. Got it. All right, go. Yeah, no. Now that you reminded me that we did, because I wasn't sure. It's been, it, September was crazy. October's worse. As far as scheduling for me, it's just gotten good nuts. I mean, I'm fortunate that not only is 
work not really slowed down during COVID that it's picked up, but it is, it's making my brain hurt. I'm trying to track everything that I've been doing. So yeah, Saturday, there's a, uh, apparently there's this somewhat famous chef, celebrity chef, even uh, named Hugh Atchison, A-T-C-H-I-S-O-N, I think, Atchison. And my father-in-law was smitten by him. And he has a restaurant in Athens, which is about an hour away from us. And it's called Five and Ten. And so we had made reservations because they're having this outdoor little cocktail thing, all safe social distance stuff, tasting menus, all this jazz. So we go to downtown Athens, where it just happened to be a ton of pokey stops and raids all going on near me. Like, I just sat at the dinner table, ignored everybody the whole time playing <laughs> pokey. While so I was able to hit up our group where Joe and Emmett and, and, and uh, Barry or I think maybe one or two other people were in that group. I don't know. Uh, but it's like, hey, guys, you want to be part of this? And uh, yeah, Gotharita happened, and I, I caught her, and it's my first one ever. That was really cool. I did. I think I did a few other. Oh yeah, I did some. Raid. Barry and I went and and got some uh, some some uh, good uh, Firebird Moltres Moltres raids. And Joe's like, I don't need that symbol of hate in my life. <laughs> Isn't that? No, he literally texted that. I don't need that symbol of hate. <laughs> You're not wrong. Great. I did text that. Yeah. So yeah, man, I uh, I had something. I think uh, the Gotharita was new. Uh, I'm not sure what else is going on there. But uh, what about you, Joe? What did you have happen besides that raid? Besides the Gothita? I actually yeah. did do uh, a Moltres raid. Um, I think with Barry actually. Um, so caught that. Um, but yeah, just uh, caught a bunch of different stuff here and there. Got myself the Shedinja from the research oh. box and. Got myself a little uh, fire pooflinger, Darumaka. Fire pooflinger. <laughs> got a yeah. got the crow gunk with the hat. Uh, yes, I got a crow gunk with the hat. I'm so excited. Yeah, I uh, caught a, I mean, a fair number of Pikachu with a hat during the spotlight hour. Just kept one of them because, well, I don't really care. So, but yeah, I kept I kept one. Here's here's my little Pikachu with a with his red hat, so. Yeah, I don't have one of those yet. I don't care. <laughs> well, you can't have mine. I only kept one, so. I know you're so heartbroken over it, though. I mean, I'm I'm going. They basically force you to get one. I'm going to get one. I'll probably keep one just because. At this point, it's like, oh, I have a million hats, different hatted Pokemon. So now, uh, I do kind of like the uh um shinx with the bowler hat have you seen pictures of that i have not i've not seen that yeah so you can get shinx with a bowler hat i wouldn't mind getting a shiny shinx with a bowler hat that's kind of cool i mean shiny anything is is, let's be real that's really cool uh but yeah um so apparently i've missed a lot this week now i have shit in you i believe already Pretty sure we've gone through all that before, didn't we, Joe? Shedinja? Yeah, we've had Shedinja yeah. before. Okay. So I didn't, I mean, while I technically missed it, I didn't miss it. But we're going to get into the headlines and see that there was actually plenty of stuff that I actually missed this week uh, going on there. Uh, but before that, we had, oh, where's our, um, oh, there's our discussion point. Who was the Pokemon you just couldn't find. So Cheeky Nashville hit us last week. Like, what was what was the holdout, man? I can't do Cheeky tonight. I don't, I don't have the energy. Cheek, Cheeky's got, like, level 9,000 energy. I, I just can't quite get there tonight. But who was your holdout? Oh, man, we got some good responses on this. Uh, here's one. Brit, Britastic UK said Tortuga. I've seen it shadow once, but couldn't get to it in time. Never saw it again. Archin too never even saw the shadow of that one. Which one's Archin? So Archin is um, it's the oh how do you describe it? It's a colorful prehistoric bird. Was it in North America at all? Yeah, it's just super rare. Okay, yeah, I, like, I don't even like remember it, talking it, about this. It one. looks almost like a parrot esque. But it has it has okay, like I think a, people have it, but I've never seen a shadow. It has like a rocky face on it though. Yeah, 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 yeah. It looks cool. I've seen like Terry Wolf or somebody had it as their buddy, but man, that looks beastly. I like it. 
I've never seen a shadow or anything on it at all. Yeah, no. Um, a lot of them, I think, are come from uh, what's called uh, why am I blanking? Eggs. And then uh, Jacket K responded because I'll probably forget to do. Oh, that's right. He did it live last week because I forget to do it. I'm just going to say either of the five gen fossils. He has not had uh, any luck with the five gen fossils. And that again is Tortuga and Archon. Yeah. So same with with uh, Britastic. I love that name, Britastic UK. That's a good good name there. Uh, so we have those discussions over on reddit.com slash r slash Pokemon Go podcast. If you would like to get your two cents in, we're going to come up with another discussion later on this evening for sure. Or do you already have one in mind, Joe? Uh, I do not yet. Usually these ha- these things happen organically rather than pre-planned. They do. They do. We might need to organically pre-plan it to make this a better <laughs> segment uh, going forward because it just got to happen. Uh, I'm trying to stall because I'm actually like you battling Team Rocket. When we should be hosting a show. <laughs> hey, but it, it's important uh, to take down Team Rocket. It's very important to show them that they can't they can't just walk all over us. Even see, if, I, even I, if I you totally are disagree. the leader. Yeah, I was going to say, I was like, yeah, you're trying to take him down to teach him a lesson. I'm trying to show him, no, I'm the boss. I'm King Rocket over here. It's, you can't even get past me. King Giovanni Rocket. better watch out because I'm coming for that that necktie. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be King Rocket one day. All right. So, all right. So, so there's the title of the show. I'm coming for that necktie. I'm coming. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. All right. All right. So we got the updates, right? We're going to hopefully be back on our regular Twitch channel. Sometime in the near future, we will do better about communicating through our social media this week about that. So definitely, if you go to patreon.com slash Pokemon Go podcast, you can be on our Discord. They hear about it first just because we're just naturally there. Uh, then, of course, where's their experience of the week? All righty. Let's pull that up. Nope, that's the wrong one. That's the exclusive club. Um, <laughs> all right, so back this up to my birthday, October 1st. Um, and we have uh, Robert Perjurt, uh, Bridget with a, uh, a shiny pink Moltres. So first Moltres raid and grabbed a shiny. Uh, Barry. Yeah, that's cool. As far as I know, didn't get any shinies this go around, but did yeah. get a hundred percent Moltres, so that is pretty awesome. Uh, Nolte showing off some IRL catching was fishing on the at the ocean. Um, <laughs> Terry Wolf showing off. Yeah, wait, but much like me, he still got no magic carp that day. <laughs> uh, so Terry Wolf showing off a shiny Smoochum with the little uh, the bow on its head. So that's fun there. Apparently, <laughs> Popeye. Popeye had a, a glitch where there was a black bar over uh, his Pikachus during the spotlight hour. Um, U.S. Nate Scout ha- now has three hundred percent Ralts's, so that's pretty nice. And Terry, this is a real nice Snorlax. It's a 14, 14, 14 IVs, and it's a shadow Snorlax, so it gets that extra damage buff there. So that's pretty, pretty nice for uh, for some PvP content there. Nolte coming up big with 10 shinies. Um, and, I mean, there's, there's three solid. Moltres and two Cricketot, but all of the rest are different. So there's a Ralts, Smoochum... Yeah. Krogunk, Burmy, and Roselia. So that's pretty nice. Uh, Coach Kev showing off. Oh, Coach Kev does have, he's got the the Shinx, the bowler hat, shiny Shinx. Look at that. Very nice. Um, that is cool. I, I'm with you, Joe. I'm with you on that one. He, uh, he snagged a couple of uh, shiny Pikachus with the red hats. Uh, two smoochums uh, with the the bows on their head, a shiny cricketot, and another shiny cricketot, but evolved into a cricketoon. So that Very is cool. pretty awesome. That's um, solid. And Wait, then, there's more from Coach Cav. 
Wait, there's more. And with the special Coach Cav tag on it. <laughs> yep, there we go. So a hundred percent smoochum, and these are all hundred percent, hundred percent percent smoochum, another hundred percent smoochum, a hundred percent ampharos, and a Ralts, a hundred percent Ralts. Very, very nice. So that is awesome. I knew I was missing something. Like, man, there's no way this segment is that short. No matter what happens, I'm missing something, and that was it. So there's our experiences. We appreciate all of you for putting those in and being a part of of what we do. Now I'm going to put in the real marker and we're going to hit the break. All right. Before we officially come back, uh, either if I like the music, it'll be it. Or if I don't like the music, I'm going to hit a different button. All right. Let's see. Ah, uh, we did that one recently. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, that's going to be the new theme song for my Team Rocket when I take over Team Rocket November 5th, 2020. <laughs> Let me, Team Rocket leader. That's right. I, didn't I think know I'd be it was much a democratic better. process. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I've already beat Giovanni, so it must be something else because I've not got my official I'm the King Rocket leader now. So I don't know, man. But uh, hey, are these in any particular order? Because I got something I'd like to get off my chest. Uh, from bottom to top, I think, is what we need to do since it's oldest to newest. But what do you want to get All off right. your chest? Just do it, do it. However you want. Get her hey, guess what? An event came and went, and I had no freaking clue <laughs> from last show to this show. Now, okay, to be fair, though, we want to jump in there, but to be fair a little bit, I don't know that there were, there were probably days I didn't open my game. It's been it's been a lot of travel, a lot of busy training, a lot of stuff going on, um, and I'm in a space where there's not a lot of Pokemon stuff going on anyway. I don't know. It's just whatever. But, yeah, Joe. That's one of our headlines. Uh, well, first, we'll talk about what the event was. So it's a fifth birthday. Five years. We've been doing this for five years, Joe. Do I supposed, am I supposed to get you like an anniversary present? I mean, I don't know what to do now. Yep. You were supposed to get me a birthday present. I'm your birthday <laughs> present, baby. You're welcome. So, so this is this is Niantic's five-year birthday. I don't think... Not Pokemon yes. Go's yeah, five not, year. Okay. It, that well, didn't sound right, but like the last it, time we had an anniversary, I was like, really? It may have been five years since they announced it, actually. Since they announced Pokemon Go. I'd have to double check on what the five years actually they're marking here. But yeah. Yep, yep. And there's a code that goes with I'm actually trying to redeem right now. There's a code in that that tweet there is a uh, code in that tweet is the channel or geek <laughs> successful Woot! yeah so uh, in order to redeem the codes you go to rewards.nianticlabs.com slash pokemon go and you enter in the code that they have given um so niantic labs tweeted out this code uh and you can uh we'll have a, a link to the the tweet in our show notes so you can go yeah and i'll put in i'll put in there live Okay, yeah, and, and I put it in our Discord and, and whatnot. But yeah, you can grab um, quite a few things from it. Let's see. Uh, looks like it. some stickers, uh, some kidney stones, pineapple, and Ultra Balls. 20 <laughs> Ultra Balls. Kidney stones. Uh, yeah, so it was 20 Ultra Balls, one star piece, 10 pin up berries, and 10 stickers. That's what, that's what Charles just said in his own uh, verbiage. <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. Nightbot has just given you a warning. A warning. Yeah, because I put in the code, which is in all caps. It's like, you better stop spamming caps. Nightbot, I will shut you down. I am the boss of you. You ain't the boss of me. I'm King Rocket. <laughs> you better watch out. Nightbot won't yell at me. I'll post it. <laughs> <laughs> so, but I suspect uh, Eddie probably has already uh, redeemed it. So. Yeah, and let's see. My friend, this sees the same thing. Uh, yes, my friend Laura DePooter, 
she has been getting into Pokemon Go. I pres- I know she tracks what I do. We've we've been friends for a long time. There's gonna things, but she's she's actually sent me some stuff about keychains and whatever uh, that I've looked at before and and some cool stuff. But she Wednesday morning, Wednesday night, she sent me that link. And it's the same thing as a tweet. It's the the in game app items digital download. It had the code and this and that and the other. So places and she gets it from slick dealio d-e-a-l-i-o uh slick deals dot net is what she follows and actually she's posted a few different things that they've had pokemon related of letting you know hey check out this cool stuff or that and uh so shout out to laura for for hooking us up there so that was so that was the announcement in the event and i did just get the presents however however joe did you did you hear about the timed event in time and were you able to get it done? Uh, so I did hear about it and I did the only the first one, to be honest. Um, and that seems to be pretty uh, prevalent on the poll. So 6.3K votes came in on a poll that was done on Reddit. And one third of them says, no, I didn't finish because I couldn't hatch or uh, hatch or an egg, hatch or, earn an egg candy. or earn buddy candy um, yep. in time. Because it, it was only a, a few hours was the window, if I'm remembering correctly. I'd have to look. Honestly, back. Compare, so we remember where Niantic came from, but we know where Niantic is now with so much heads up, so much here's overkill on time you can if if you forget like i do all the time and you get in the last 30 minutes you can still get your shinies done on community day i've done it overkill on time overkill and let's make sure you get out there and play this this sounds like they thought about coding it at one point and said nah we're not going to do it and then somebody accidentally hit the button because the majority of it because that's just you said one third did no but then below that, actually more than one third didn't know. If you keep reading and add the other no categories. Well, it's not that they didn't guests. know, it's that they didn't finish it. Well, there was there was uh no, yeah, none of these didn't say I don't know. All the no's say, okay, here's here are your choices. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I play I feel like there's plenty of time. Yes, but I feel like there's a bit of a crunch time. No, wasn't able to do the rocket grunt. No, couldn't hatch. No, couldn't spin. No, wasn't in range of a gym for a raid win gym battle. So the majority of the respondents were saying, no, I could not get this done. Yeah. And that's a problem. Uh, 12% of the, that seems really high. Is it actually 12%? Did I do that math right? 750. Hey, don't ask me. I'm King Rocket. Divided by 6,300. Yeah. So 12% said that they felt there was plenty of time um but yeah that's a really low number yeah. so 12 percent said there was plenty of time and um i'm gonna add up real quick how many actually said they completed it um uh, so less than 30 percent complete uh in this poll com- actually completed the timed research wow I'm asking our audience if anybody get it done. And on the podcast, you want to email us, show at PokemonGoPodcast.com. We have verified that address works for everybody in the world but Twitch, but it will work for you. Joe and I both tested it, show at PokemonGoPodcast.com. And uh, let us know about if you got in and got this done. Uh, This might be the discussion of the week on Reddit, so r slash PokemonGoPodcast. Uh, Eddie Pena says, what event? And Popeye 705 says, my wife and I did. Yeah, so it was the Niantic birthday time to research event that happened over the weekend. Yeah. So, um, and you know, and that again, that one I can't really put on Niantic. Because had I known about it, then I could give you a better stance on how, from a filthy casual perspective, how it did or did not work in my time schedule. But dude, I found out today. Joe's like putting in, I'm not actually, I'm copying the notes. I'm like, wait, what is this poll? Were you able to complete? No, I had no idea. We had this event. So, um, now why weren't you able to get yours done, Joe? Uh, the eggs. 
I, I didn't have an egg that was close enough. And um, to be honest, I didn't get out and and walk to try to do it. Uh, so, I mean, it's on me. I didn't give it an honest effort. Um, what was I doing Sunday? Saturday, I was gone all day. So Saturday is when we raided and I did Pokemon stuff. I honestly cannot remember what I was doing on Sunday. And I went to bed early on Sunday because I had to get up at 3 a.m. on Monday. But, yeah. And Eddie says he did get it done. So. Yeah. So the three people that are here live uh, did get it done. So it, it's just it, it was it, the timing of the event was just seems super weird because they just said, hey, we're getting rid of some of the stuff that's been around because of, of all of the COVID stuff. Right. Um, and then they're like, Oh, now we're going to start incorporating more stuff that you have to walk. And it's like, okay, but you didn't give us any ramp up time on this at all. Like it, now. it, it was announced literally. So it, it happened on Sunday and it was announced after our recording or possibly even during our recording on Thursday last week. Okay. So it was just a couple of days heads up that this was even going to be a thing. Which is, again, currently unusual for an antic. But here's a tip for the fil filthy casuals. Popeye says, my wife keeps a buddy at nine, uh, right. point nine slash one kilometer. I, got, I was getting there. Vault for these events. Which means if you just leave an egg sitting on point nine, well, you can't all do that with an the egg. time. Our buddy, sorry, the buddy. Yep. Yes, right. Because you can't pull the egg out of the incubator. The buddy, you keep them walked up to that point, trade them out, right? Because it keeps how far you walked. So if you need to walk that buddy, you pop them in with that point one to go, and you're there. Yeah, that's pretty Niantic smart. Niantic doesn't let you soft boil the eggs. You've got to you got to hard, hard boil them. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, now this is something I did see pop up a few times over the last month. Uh, some headlines, I think, in the game once or twice. But Niantic Local Business Recovery Initiative launches today in support of small businesses. Now, Joe, I know we've talked about this a little bit, how they were putting out submit you know, businesses, and we were kind of guessing at what was going on. Uh, we've seen Verizon, which is not a small business at all, but we've seen Verizon. Uh, pop in and say, uh, 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 here's some stuff. What's going on? What's with this new initiative? Yeah, so this is completely free. These businesses are not paying to be sponsored locations. Um, but they, have, they are adding 1,000 small businesses globally as sponsored locations for a year. Um, so this is, they're trying to help revitalize for free yep for free they're trying to revitalize local uh communities and trying to revitalize small businesses and help them out after all of the this quarantining has has happened so um but yeah apparently they had over thirty eight thousand businesses nominated and they brought that down to a thousand that they're actually going to to help um and actually go as far as to list uh, a few of the businesses um as examples uh so let's see there's one in colorado that they mentioned specifically uh, one in mexico city um one in worthing uh west sussex uh uk um one in, and then the, there's some in uh, Lither, Liverpool in Canada and Nova Scotia. Yeah. And so that's just a few of the examples that they've provided. Um, but yeah, a lot, a lot. There, This is a great thing because it, it literally yeah. costs them nothing. It costs Niantic nothing to set this up. And yeah. Well, and it's a great play. Honestly, it's a great business move for Niantic. One. It does actually not seem like it does actually come off as you're giving back to the community, right? So you're you're picking. I mean, some of those examples I was, I was glancing through them as you read them there, Joe. And some of them are like, here's why we picked them. They've been it's a bakery that's been baking bread for people in need for the last couple of months, you know, and then they're helping out. But here's the great business move: if nothing financially comes of this, you gave back to the community and you you helped 
revitalize your player base, showed us that you care, those kind of things, put a human spin on it. But if business actually really improves at these businesses because of Pokemon Go, do you think they're going to bat an eye in a year when when Nitek goes, hey, we really appreciate you being a part of this program. If you'd like to continue, here's the, the cost. Here's what we brought to you. Don't know how that plays into your numbers. But, you know, if it, like I said, if it, if it helped boost the business, they're going to go, yes, yeah, sign me up. And now Nantic's got, let's say, 500 new businesses that are paying in for this feature as opposed to Sprint. Not, nothing wrong with Sprint, but you know what I'm saying, as opposed to one major corporation, right? Yep, exactly. So. Exactly. But yeah, the, uh, just a wonderful initiative. Yeah, I, I, I dig it because, again, not, I mean, in the long term, they might really get some great return on their investment here. But in the short term, the world could close tomorrow. They at least tried to help out. You know, they did something. Because we know, Joe, well, I'll say, I know I'm more likely to visit a business because there's a stop there. Because I don't know what the business is, but I go, oh, look, I'm going to spend a stop. Oh, hot, fresh donuts. I'm in. Let's do this. You know, I'll take two, man. And I think that's the whole idea, that foot traffic kind of idea of moving through and doing those kind of things. So it's really, really cool. Uh, I don't know if this is cool or not, but there's some incense changes, incense post changes. So after the changes happen, what's going on here, Joe? Yeah. Yeah. So we talked a bit about this last week, about the incense changes that were coming. Um, they are, supposedly they had already rolled back the changes, the temporary changes where um, you would get a Pokemon every, which I don't know why I don't have an incense burning right now, to be honest. But um, they supposedly were rolling back the changes where you had to be walking in order to spawn more Pokemon um and so someone decided to go ahead and test this to see if they actually put it out now this is as of a day ago as of yesterday uh they did 12 hours total of incense um six where they weren't moving and six where they were walking um and they were walking approximately four miles per hour is what they said um during or six kilo- 6.4 kilometers if you're european yep yeah and so uh stationary they they got 40 pokemon from their incense walking they got <laughs> 41 over on, 6 on, hours yeah well on average yeah for, on average yeah per hour yeah yeah mm-hmm. and so uh basically it looks like they have not actually triggered it um and so Hopefully they don't realize they didn't actually trigger it, but, uh, yeah. Um, but supposedly even with, um, even when it was activated in order to get the incense to spawn once per minute, you had to move at least 200 meters in that minute. Yeah. EPS drift is not going to help get you there. And so, um, in, in order to actually move 200 meters a minute, they would have actually had to double their pace. Uh, so if you, if you read down in the comments, people were doing the math. And 6.4 kilometers per hour equates to um, 107 meters per minute. So you don't actually, they weren't actually meeting the 200 meters per minute requirement to get a spawn a minute. Which, okay, well, well, well mm, okay, I'm keeping running through the math because some of the math is like, well, I don't even know what four miles. They, they put kilometers in there, kilo meters is a thousand meters. So you can break down 6,000 meters per hour, blah, blah, blah. Um, you know what? Let's do that, Joe. Look, they did break it down. That's yeah, they, 107 meters per minute. Okay, so you're on that post there. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, so maybe they didn't move. What well, you're saying is they didn't move far enough in that minute? That, that actually, yeah. The, to act to actually actively so it doesn't seem like it changed because even even standing still versus walking at four um, miles per hour or 6.4 kilometers per hour there should have been a difference so 
while they didn't do the best test, it should be sufficient enough to confirm that they that it is not increased right now. Um, however, you know that makes me wonder. The average person walks at three miles per hour, so in order to get the most out of in what what I, I, I'm sorry, I was scrolling down. I was scrolling down through the rest of the comments, and somebody's like. Uh, they changed the topic. Like they have a speed where you can't catch anything around sixty miles per hour, maybe. And somebody says that's somewhere around forty. The next comment says that's exactly forty kilometers per hour for me. Don't know the freedom numbers. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, anyway, uh, so in order to actually meet the distance requirement, you would have to be traveling at eight miles per hour, roughly. Okay. Um, and and if the average person... Run, walks, Forrest, run. Well, the average person walks at about three miles per hour. And so, um, you know, I had never actually thought about this um, from an actual uh, usability standpoint. I just knew you move, you get more Pokemon to spawn. Um, but they should probably try... <laughs> Zekman, I am not the average man. Um, <laughs> and, but yeah, so, uh, they should probably drop that down to where if you're doing a brisk walk, you should be able to get to that one Pokemon a minute. And so I, I kind of agree with the, this person here who is a bunch of hyphens and an N and then some more hyphens is their username, but they say that, that they've heard ha uh, people talk about how incense is designed to be used by passengers or people who are driving and have the Pokemon Go Plus. Uh, and they said up until now, they thought that was people just, you know, tongue in cheek, just um, saying Just it. saying but, stuff, but, right. but no, it, it, it's, it's true. Mathematically, well, I, well, we can't say it's true. It was designed for that, but well, mathematically... Average walking is not going to get you there if those numbers are solid. Uh, yeah. Thanks, Techman, for dropping in. Uh, he's doing it between work assignments. Uh, it'll be out uh, tomorrow. So thanks and for then, the podcast. Eddie, some people can't even walk and catch. That is very true. Yeah. I have seen a lot of people, well, in, at events, especially like at GoFest, you just see people huddled where a bunch of Pokemon are spawning right there. And yeah. they just bloop. Go off to I'll be honest with you. Trails. I mean, it's just, I, it's just my mindset. It's not. I never thought. Well, let me hit it. Keep walking. My mind, especially at events like Go Fest, my mind's. Oh, hey, here's a few. I'm just gonna stop, catch it real quick. Okay, everybody, good. All right, let's move on. You know. So I, I don't even think about not stopping. So that would that. My guess point is is if you stop to catch, you're not move. You're definitely not moving that 200 meters in a minute. No. That is that is. That's a big distance, man. Mm -hmm. Anyway, uh, it is, it is. we have an autumn graphic, and it is perfectly pumpkin spiced up for everybody. Uh, so let's see. From October 9th to October 12th is the autumn is coming to Pokemon Go events. Fairies will be twice as effective when you uh, give them as treats your buddy Pokemon. Uh, let's see. Okay. All right, there are double candies using a pineapple berry. So first stage would be six. Your bonus would be 12. Second stage would be 10 candies. Your bonus would be 20. And so third stage normally be 20 candies. So if you see a first stage Pokemon, instead of getting six is what you normally get with the pineapple, you'll get 12. So you can do the math from there. Uh, if you happen to find a third stage evolution to catch, or, you know, you do raids, right? You, you do raids, those kind of things. Um, you go catch them, you'll get 40 candies on those with buggers. The pin yeah. With the pin app, Barry. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, berries will also be dropping more often when you spend a photo disc or photo, uh, Poke Stops and Gems. Am I still the one who has to, for a split second, go, what's a photo disc? Oh, yeah. It's the stop. It's the stop. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's the Poke Stops. And it makes 100% sense. It is a disc with a photo on it. You couldn't really name it anything else. But yeah, my brain goes, that's a pokey stop. What are you talking about? <laughs> so uh the yeah. falling Pokemon. All right, Joe. 
Uh, I don't think you're going to be interested in either. I was going to play a game. Like, Let's see which one Joe's excited for. As I'm glancing down the list, I'm like, <laughs> none. Joe's going to be none excited for them. Shiny Vulpix? Uh, shiny yeah. Fungus? There's fungus. no Shiny Fungus. No, there is not. Uh, and shiny did... Pineco. I'll take a Shiny Pineco. Man, I think I have a Shiny Pineco. I could be wrong. You might, but I don't. Yeah, I do. I yeah. Don't. Me. Mm-hmm. How many Shinies you got? Two? You got two. All right. Two Shinies? No, nah, just yes. Yeah, in general, almost, in general, almost, how many shinies? Almost two hundred, which is which crazy, is nothing dude. compared to some people. Compared to me, that's nothing. If we're playing golf scores, yeah. So I have shiny. A, I have a shiny pineco and a shiny uh, fortress already. So now we get a shiny Canto Vulpix. Yes, which makes Nine Tails look like a lowland. Nine tails almost. Yeah. Um, yeah. It does look a bit like that. Not bad. Had they done this before the Alolans, I'd have been like, this is amazing. Uh, now I'm just like, this is okay. I can't, I, I, cause I guess I haven't looked at a Vulpix in a hot minute. I cannot tell you the difference between shiny and regular Vulpix right now. Uh, regular I, Vulpix is red. Actually, you can just look up a little bit, look up into the left just a smidge. Okay, so, oh, they put a washout filter on Instagram on it and said, let's go with that. Got it. Yep. You're right. I do see it. Uh, however, yeah, this so, is what so Joe So Shiny Vulpix is more along the color scheme of Naruto. <laughs> You're just bound and determined to keep referencing that each week. All right, let's, all right everybody. <laughs> here's the listener challenge for December. Let's just bombard Joe with Naruto DVDs. Or better <laughs> yet. Find VHS tapes and send it to him for Christmas. <laughs> Let's do this. We'll make it happen. I don't have a VHS player. That's the funny part. Uh, <laughs> at least to me. But here's what I know you're excited about, Joe. The Autumn Form Deerling debut with uh, uh, the Bambi and Bambi's dead mom coming to the game. It's pretty awesome, man. Wow. Okay. So, yeah, there's that. <laughs> All right. Uh, we both got distracted by the same thing, I think. Uh, very themed research will be available. Very themed time research will be available. Autumn themed Pokemon will be hatching for 5K eggs. I'm not going to go down that whole list. It's in the wild. But it's, it's if you haven't gotten them, something like a Bay Leaf or a Pseudo Wudo, if you haven't had these yet or hadn't had the shinies of some of these yet, because there's a number of shinies that are included that be in the wild more. Here's your chance. So, um, and then soon, different Pokemon will be hatching from eggs. Other than, and other changes will happen. Again, this is October. It's again, right? Yeah. No. October 9th to 12th is 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. So starting tomorrow. This this event starts tomorrow. All right. Why is it? Okay. Because October 12th, October 19th is a different event. Yes, down down further below. Okay, yeah, yeah. It's just it didn't say like the next event or title. That's what threw me off a little bit. So okay, so tomorrow from October 9th at eight a.m. to October twelfth at one p.m. Okay, well for the podcast, get out there and play. Um, <laughs> but yeah, then they could have said it says soon different Pokemon will be hatching from eggs and other changes will happen. But that really could easily be read into well, yeah, no kidding. Tomorrow. All these new things are happening for eggs, eggs and new changes will happen. Yeah, so I think oh. what they're trying to do, so this is coming to us again from G2G Media. We've seen a lot of their infographics. What I think they're trying to do here down at the bottom is just give a little preview of what the next announced event is. All right. Um, and so I think that's what they're trying to do with that October 12th to the 19th. Because you notice it doesn't give hardly any information here. Right, um, no, yeah, nothing. But yeah, but no, this right. it's it's announced, um, but this is not the infographic for that event. For that. Yeah. All right. Uh is it th- this? No, yes, no. Maybe it's uh hold on. I yes. got it. I got no. it. I'm gonna remember something. No, yes. I'm going to Maybe. remember something without looking it up, Joe. I promise you. It's like the sixty seventeenth. October seventeenth is are you sure? No, it's next Saturday. It's not this Saturday. Next Saturday is the the October Community Day. 
Are you sure? Yes. Final answer. Final answer. Show me the board, Steve. Show me on the board. Saturday, October 17th. So, yes. Next, I was next right. Next Saturday. <laughs> the day, I know why the date was throwing me off. It felt like that was too far away. But today is the 8th. So, that does make sense mm -hmm. that the number is the 17th. So, yeah. So, we have the Dragon's Breath Charizard. I just want my shiny, man. You just, just want, shiny you just on want that the one. black dragon Charizard. I do. So this is a I huge do. analysis. We're not going to go over the whole thing. Um, if you want to go take a look at it, you can hop onto our Reddit page or look at the um, post associated with this um, episode, episode 219, and you can get a link to it. Uh, basically, it's it's checking to see how good Dragon Breath Charizard actually is compared to the other um, options for Charizard. And so if you go down, basically the, the too long didn't read version of this huge That's post what I'm trying to find. This is a is, huge post. Is that it's good, but it's not it, like... It's on par with the other versions of Dragon uh, of Charizard, basically, um, and so it 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 has some niche uses. It has some decent matchups. It it's a decent general list as far as um, Charizard goes, um, but it doesn't edge out really its other its other move sets enough. Um, so definitely get out there and get it. Um, so the the problem is... So Charizard is only borderline okay for Master League. Uh, now, if you throw him in Great League, uh, he has some... Um, he has some okay matchups in, in Great League. Um, but Dragon Breath... The matchups that really you want fire spin anyway, um, so it has some nice niche uses in Great League, but it's yeah. So it, basically, that what it boils down to is is it has some niche uses in PvP, um, but it, it doesn't really dethrone any of his current move sets. Basically, I'm just gonna read the last bullet point there. The final point, in almost all cases, overheat is just as good as blast burn. It is often even better with shields down. And then there's some other stuff there. Well, but that's, and, that's and the reason that there. they bring the, that up is because blast burn is a community A move. So the only way you can get blast burn is to use an elite charge TM during community day. Uh, and so basically they're saying, hey... Overheat is Get just that. fine. Don't waste your elite charge TM. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Eddie Pena brings up a, a good point, though, um, that he has some even more niche uses uh, in Sylph tournaments because they do limit what specific types you can bring in. Um, he's disagreeing about something else. Oh, that it's probably the overheat blast burn. He said that's just what they tell oh, the players that don't have it. Blast burn. I think that's probably because so, with the delay, that's my math in my they, head. That's probably what they he's did put. To. They did put a caveat in there um, that in order for overheat to edge into blast burn area is that the shields need to be down. Uh yeah. So I love. I do like that though. That's just what they tell the players that don't have it. No, no, it's just as good. <laughs> Uh, okay, so then the final one for this evening before we get into multiple voicemails, uh, which we love. This Friday, the long-awaited shiny release of the Kento Vulpix and Ninetales will finally arrive for the autumn event, but there's a few Gen 1 shinies that have not been released. Sparrow Firo, I th yeah, I said that right, yep. uh, has not happened yet. Paris and Parasect, Slowpoke, Slowbro. Hitmon Lee, Hitmon Chan, Golden Seeking, Ditto. Okay, I'll, the Blue Raspberry Ditto, I'll take that. I just, I just <laughs> like that line. That line there just made me laugh. I'll take it. Uh, but Ditto hadn't hit it. Snorlax and Mew. 
Uh, but they believe I'm not gonna hit all these, but I do see the Snorlax one says there's almost certainly a plan to release Snorlax to tie into a Pokemon sleep promotion, which I want the sleep. If I catch Pokemon under my bed, I will do it. Snorlax trick trainers during the summer when it was featured prominently in the GoFest 2020 promotional images, which made most believe it re would receive its shiny release. It did not. Yeah, I think we know that at this point. This makes it seem as nine tech a specific plan for Snorlax. Out of these, Joe. Who are you going? Why don't we have the shiny yet? Uh, Spiro and Firo, to be honest. I'm just like they had their. They not? did have their spotlight hour. Yeah. Why? Why not? Why are they not in there? Um, but yeah. Same with Paris, and same with uh, Goldine. I could see them waiting on on Slowpoke just because he does have that split evolution between Slowbro and Slowking. Um, so maybe they're waiting to put out his shiny until they put out Mega Slowbro as well. So that could mm -hmm. be. Um, and they do have a Galarian form of Slowpoke as well. So maybe they're waiting. I, there's a few things they could be waiting on on Slowpoke. So that one isn't as big of a surprise. Um, I kind of hope they do... Hitmon Lee and Hitmon Chan, um, in in combination with some kind of real world event, like w wouldn't it be nice if or nice? Wouldn't it be pretty well, awesome well, if they could uh, partner with the UFC or something, and s a whole bunch of fighting types get their um, get their their shiny forms released? That be that. Yeah, I agree with you. That's or true. or if they released uh hitmon lee and hitmon chan on the like birthdays of the people that they're named after again good idea joe <laughs> i'm with you <laughs> keep, you keep on you keep the good ideas coming so so, so th there's a couple of different things that they could do there as well um i have no idea why ditto what they would be waiting on for ditto mew i mean we only have so many. We've only we can only get one Mew unless you did some shenanigans, yeah. which I don't think it was Mew that I heard people doing shenanigans. I think it was Celebi that I heard. People I think you're right. Shenanigans on. I think it was Celebi. Two of them. Um. But yeah, so I mean, it's a mythical, so people only have one of them. So I I'm curious to see how they handle that in general for these ones that you can only get one of how they're going to handle the shiny forms. But yeah, yeah, not many left from generation one that have not received their shiny forms. Yeah. Which one of those uh, do you like the most? I think ditto. I, like I looked, ditto? I was, I, I Storlax is a nice color blue, but I feel like that should be his original color, right? That nice Royal blue. And you um, notice that uh ditto yeah. and Mew are the same color. <laughs> That tells you something from yeah. the lore. It does. It does. Uh, which I, I've mentioned it, but it was a long, long, long time ago. Like all of their, there's so many things that are match up with the Ditto and Mew, like uh, weight, their colors, their shiny colors. Um, they're, they both are the only ones that can learn transform and things like that. And so a lot of people's theory, um, and I think there's a lot of credence to this theory, is that Dittos are actually failed um, Mew clones. Mew yeah. Yep. They are the Danny DeVito to the Mew's Arnold Schwarzenegger. And that's how that works. <laughs> if you don't know okay. that reference, look All up right. Danny DeVito and Arnold Schwarzenegger together. You'll, you'll dig okay. it. Joe gets it. You get it, Joe. So, all right, all right. One of my favorite parts going on right now, speak pipe time. This is from a Thomas. Ooh. <laughs> hey there. My name's Tom. And I just want to say that, Mr. Tambourine 19, you, sir, are a fraud. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I love the show. Bye -bye. Yeah. I get it. <laughs> I love it. Mr. Tambourine 19 joins the fraud club. We got to make a shirt too. We got to make something. Yeah, we do need to make a fraud club. We need shirt. to make something. 
a fraud, at least a fraud club, like like uh, uh, a ward, so that we can maybe print it and and that'd be something easy to send when somebody gets gets their fraud club. But Tom might have to slow his roll down on how many frauds he makes in a month. <laughs> He's like, uh, I'm a fraud. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, this is from anonymous. So Ditto called in. Hey there, it's Tom again. <laughs> I just want to say that Charles McFall, <gasps> you are uh, yeah, wait, still wait. a fraud. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, I really love the show. Bye -bye. <laughs> ah, I got it. Oh, man. King Rocket, King of Frauds. That's me. All right. This one's literally titled In Your Discord, brah. Okay. I'm in your freaking Discord, brah. <laughs> I am everywhere, brah. I can see you, brah. <laughs> Every Thursday, it's my favorite day, brah. <laughs> Do you know what I mean, brah? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my lord. Oh, man. Uh, that's too good. That's too good. Uh, that's good to hear from Terry Wolf there. You know, we haven't heard from Terry in a while. <laughs> is, that, is that who that was? <laughs> no, that was not Terry. I was going to say, on, that remember? didn't quite sound like Terry. No, if it's not going, look how many shinies I got. Screw you guys. It's not Terry. Uh, <laughs> I pick up that. Like, so, okay, that was, that was over a year ago. But that was uh, when we were together in Chicago. Uh, I just remember being in a conversation all of a sudden here. I got this many something. I'm like Terry, shut up, man! It's not even getting you girls, man. Just just eat dinner. Shut up. Dude. <laughs> it's true. We uh, we were at dinner and there was some uh, Pokédex flexing going on. There, was, but yeah, and it was fair. It wasn't just Terry. I just I just decided to pick on Terry because he can take it. I like picking on people. It's sometimes what I do. All right, all right. So there's a special button to hit with this one. It's is it? Work. Is, well, it'll work. Are you going to gonna, gonna play like is. 12 different things at the same no, time? Uh, shh, shh, dang it. No, this is just you saying, yep, yep, I believe. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, <laughs> yep, yep. All right. Uh, where, man, I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Did Char I delete it? Charles doesn't know what he's doing anymore. It's crazy, man. So there's frauds. Joe, what time is it? It is time for random, random trivia. trivia. <laughs> and this week I am going to talk about Vulpix, uh, since its shiny form is going to be popping out tomorrow. Uh, so get out there and grab it while you can. Vulpix is the fox Pokemon, as is its evolution, Nine Tails. Um, it is a fire type, other than the Alolan form, which is an ice type Pokemon. Um, and it, so it normally takes a firestone to evolve, but the Alolan form, uh, switches to requiring being exposed to an ice stone. Now those mechanics are not in Pokemon go. They just take candy to evolve. Um, but that's how you evolve them in the main series games. Uh, it's Pokedex entry says that at the time of birth, it has just one tail. The tail splits from its tip as it grows older. So mm. Vulpix ends up with six tails. And uh, if you don't know how many tails nine tails has, then... Um... It's 18. Oh, interesting hypothesis. Mm. Um... <laughs> <laughs> the Vulpix has six, nine tails has two. Yeah, nine tails. I actually kind of assumed... Yeah, that Vulpix some in some language would have meant somewhere in Vol or Pix would mean six. You know, just I don't know why I thought that. I just kind of thought that. Well, so Vulpes, assuming I'm pronouncing that right, which I'm probably not, is Latin for fox, and then okay. the, the X okay. at the end is six. Six. All right. Ne yep. All right. Not so, quite what I thought, but uh, it makes sense. So Vulpix. And then, like I said, its evolution is nine tails with its nine tails, contrary to Charles's belief. I will not say popular belief because everyone knows that it's 
got nine tails. <laughs> um, <clears throat> it's Pokedex entry says uh, it is very smart and very vengeful. Uh, grabbing one of its many tails could result in a thousand year curse. Mm. And that kind of pulls from some Japanese lore of the fox, that yes. the fox spirit that you could summon. Yes. Yeah. So, it kind of, yeah. Nine Tails is focused on the red fox and the kitsune, the Japanese legend, like yep, you kitsune. said. Kitsune, yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and so it, that also explains why, even though Nine Tails, well, the original Nine Tails is a fire type, fire type, it can learn a whole lot of ghost type and psychic moves. Yeah, uh, all right. Again, all right. another nod to uh, the kitsune. And yeah, and so I, yes, I was just gonna say, I, I in Pokemon Let's Go, Vulpix is one of my favorite. I can't remember if I have Vulpix or I think, no, I think I have a full blown Nine Tails. I think I, I busted butt and got it evolved or I caught it evolved, either one. But at the point in the game where I caught it, but now this is my go to Pokemon in this game right now. I love that, that little dog. I pet that dog, it, it's a fox, but okay. Um, mm. ding, 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 ding. Yes, I know exactly what the fox says in Pokemon Go. It says, "You Vulpix, winner, Vulpix." <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> they just say the name. Yeah, that's their names. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, that is Vulpix and Nine Tails, and yeah, go out and grab. Um, go out and get a shiny one. Get it. Get it now. Why you well, still can for the podcast listeners get it now. Yeah, for, for those the... that are live, you know, wait till tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, wait. Sorry. Uh, what do we want? What do we want people to discuss this week? You know. Uh, oh, it's I got it. I got it. Jen, now tell me if you want something different. But okay, all right. Gen one shinies. Which one are you mad that they haven't released yet, or which one are you waiting on the most? I like so I'll it. Get to... I like it. Uh, and here, so, you're, while Joe's going to type out, he's going to clean up that title. He's going to make it much better title than I just spit out. But just uh, for everybody who's listening, again, it's Spiro and Evolution, Paris Evolution, Slowpoke, and specifically Slowbro, Hitmonlee, Hitmonchan, Golding, the Evolution, Ditto, Snorlax, and Mew. And I think I'm with you, Joe. I think Mew we can kind of throw out because uh, there's no real way in the game to even work that. But out of the rest of them, which one? Are you missing or are you um, anticipating? I guess is the word I was looking for. Exactly. All right. And and if you don't like Reddit, that's fine. Hit us at show at Pokemon Go podcast.com. Again, Joe and I have both separately tested it. It's working. So just Twitch has an issue. I don't know what's going on there. Pokemon Go podcast is dot com is where we have the speak pipe that you can leave your voicemails and we'd love to play them on the show. Reddit is r slash Pokemon Go podcast. Don't be afraid. It's a safe space for our page. So come on over and let us know about the Pokemon that you're looking forward to. Twitter's at Pokemon Go pod. Twitch.tv is, is Pokemon Go podcast. And we hope, we hope by next week for the live recording to be back on that URL. Follow our social media and we'll let you know. I, I double pinky swear. Uh, all right. Uh, where can they find you, Joe? You can find me on Reddit at Joseph underscore art. I mean, that's on Twitter. <laughs> well, you can find you on Reddit too, probably, but not under Joseph underscore art. No, no, no. I I go by Merrick on Reddit. Yeah. So I'm the one that's <clears throat> posting all the time if you go to reddit.com slash r slash Pokemon Go podcast. This is true. Now I'm getting more involved in Reddit. There's a chance Whoa. I might get up and, and, and get involved there more, but I, Reddit still scares me. That's I'm learning. Like, that's like catching a shiny Charles. That would be. You know, you're not lying. I mean, I I, I will respond on Twitter. Uh, I usually I don't respond on Facebook because by the time I see it, Joe's already responded to the messages on Facebook. Um, and I just be saying something lesser than what he said typically. Uh, email, absolutely. But Reddit, yeah. If you catch me on Reddit, it's 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 rare. It is rare. Uh, but you can find me everywhere, Rock Out of Pod on Twitter, Rock Out of Podcasting everywhere else, Charles McFall, or Finding the Stories, where this week I sat down and talked with Tyra Burton, who is an amazing creator and teacher and just has a huge heart. She makes 
everything better. And Finding the Stories is, by all definitions, a family-friendly show to go and check that out. If you love hearing people's stories, where they came from, and and how they see the world, and, and what they'd like to do differently. That's what I do over there. But until next week, tune in to hear Joe say. Are we going to catch a wild Twitch count? I sure hope so. <laughs> <laughs> it might be a, a, a starting starting new account. <laughs> One way or the other, we're going back to Twitch. Yep. Mm. Yep, yep. Uh, yep, yep. Hey, I can do that, too. Yep, yep. Mine's louder. Yep, yep. <laughs> yep, yep. Yep, 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 yep. Thanks, everybody, for coming out to YouTube. I'm glad you found us. I know I didn't really promote it this week, and that's on me. Uh, but we definitely appreciate you being here. Participants is Giant Size Team Up Network. That's the only thing I can see in the participants. I don't know if you can see something there different, Joe. I have to click the three dots on the Ironically, top of the chat. Ironically, that's all I can see as well. However, that's interesting. scrolling through chat, we can see Eddie Pena and Kevin and yeah, Coach Kevin, Coach Athena Kev. San. Yep, I think that's Athena San and yep. Popeye so. Popeye seven zero five. Zeckman was here briefly. Yes. Um. But yeah. So we had uh, considering this is not our usual place. We had some pretty good and that didn't promote. Here. Yeah. So thank so. you, thank you for finding us. You have indeed caught them all for this week. Goodbye. 